Hello, welcome to this MagiCAD new features webinar. This is for MagiCAD 2.18 main release. Uh, this feature is the new introduction of combination boxes uh, as a category into the uh, library. So you can see in the data set now that we have a new category called combination box. And in here you can have, for example, uh, face plates for multiple, as you can see in the background, data or power sockets. And we've also got, say, for example, floor boxes, which can effectively host the power and data in a similar way. Of course, you can also put fire, security, TV, AV, that kind of thing in, the, in these as well. So you just build up these custom boxes. And the idea is you have one single item that then can host these multiple device categories and then circuit and wire them up separately. So how do we do that? We Need to install some of these face plates into the project. Here's one I've done earlier, and here's a combination box. You can see all I've done is hosted um, a uh, power socket and a data socket into the face plate. It's just a simple, in usual MagiCAD installation command, and then just host it in there. Uh, I want to create some more though, so I'm going to go to electrical and then install product. I'm just going to install my face plate uh, in here, and then I'm just going to stick those in there. So that's fine, but you can see now they're only the face plate, they are not the combination uh, sort of, uh, assembly item yet. This one here is the assembly item. You can see it's an assembly fixture here. Uh, it's a Revit assembly. So what do we need to do now? Go into MagiCAD Common and then find a replace. And what this command can do is um, effectively copy the contents of one combination box into other face plates that we've got in there that are empty. So um, once this command runs, you'll see that it I can select the electrical empty face plates. And then once I've done that, I can uh, then transform the assembly into those. So if I just press select, and then I'll choose these, uh, these parts here, press finish, and then choose my power and data combination box, press apply, press OK. And now these ones here, you can see it's now electrical assembly item so it's translated that into there so you can also see in this view that we've also got now the combination boxes uh, what we have got the original symbols for the um, sockets and also the assembly so we don't actually want that maybe in the in the final view so in this one I've created a filter so it's quite easy to do and you can see there's the face plate and there's the symbol but without the actual internal individual item symbols in there as well so once I've done that I can then go to um, uh, the wiring command so I'm going to go into this view here and use the MagiCAD electrical wiring tool and I want to select that choose my installation point with an offset on curve let's say press OK and then click on this and then it's electrical socket and press OK and click on here electrical socket press OK and you can see it then links that to there press electrical socket and press OK and it now links that so that's uh, even the wiring done and also it's taking into account the symbol so you can see it's just wiring into the symbol so it's quite nice and easy to do that and just for reference if you ever want to select any of the internal uh, items in the combination box itself then you just tab over the assembly over the item you want and there's the individual socket in there for the data here it is and then the actual combination faceplate itself there so that's the combination boxes and then uh, once you've done that you can obviously just then start adding these to circuits um, so if you want to select the uh, this individual socket there just click on there click power choose my panel board distribution board 01 and then there it goes off to the distribution board at the top of the screen there into that so that's that you can see that circuit there so okay thank you very much for watching